Hello everyone, myself Zeel Bhatt and today we are going to study about high selling diuretics which are also known as loop diuretics and organic acid diuretics and at the end of this video we will find out why they are called so. So the most commonly used high selling diuretics are furosemide and bumetanide. This is the chemical structure of furosemide. So now let us focus on the key points of high selling diuretics. First of all, they are strongest acting diuretics with maximum natriuretic effect. Natriuretic effect is an effect in which the compounds or the components excrete sodium via urine. Second, they prevent reabsorption of 20% sodium and 15% water. Third, the site of action is ascending loop of Henle which is site 2. And last, they act by inhibiting sodium, potassium and chlorine co-transporter. So now let us look at the mechanism of action of high selling diuretics. First of all they inhibit sodium, potassium and chlorine co-transporter. Thus it inhibits the entry of sodium, potassium and chlorine from the luminal site to basolateral membrane. Thus sodium, potassium and chlorine are excreted via urine. So now let us understand the whole mechanism of high selling diuretics diagrammatically. So this is the luminal membrane. This is basolateral membrane. There are two potassium channels, one on the luminal membrane and the another one on the basolateral membrane. There is one chlorine channel on the basolateral membrane. And this is sodium, potassium and chlorine co-transporter on luminal membrane. And sodium, potassium ATPase pump on the basolateral membrane. So now let us look at the mechanism of high selling loop diuretics. These are sodium, chlorine and potassium ions on the luminal side of the membrane. And they enter through luminal membrane via sodium, potassium and chlorine co-transporter. So now chlorine enters basolateral membrane via chlorine channel and potassium re-enters luminal membrane using potassium channel. And lastly sodium enters basolateral membrane via sodium potassium ATPase pump which causes the exit of potassium ion from basolateral membrane and it re-enters basolateral membrane via potassium channel. So as discussed earlier, furosemide, which is high selling loop diuretics, acts on the sodium, potassium and chlorine co-transporter, which inhibits the entry of ions sodium, potassium and chlorine, which causes their excretion via urine. Now let's see what are the indications of high selling diuretics. High selling diuretics or any diuretics are mainly used when we want to get rid of excess body fluid, especially the ions. So they are used in acute pulmonary edema, cerebral edema, edema, hypertension, and hypercalcemia. Hmm, this is interesting. Let's think why. Why are they called loop diuretics? They are called loop diuretics because they act on the loop of Henle. So this name is given based upon their site of action. Second, why are they called high selling diuretics? They are called high selling diuretics because they give maximum effect as diuretics. And third, why are they called organic acid diuretics? They are called organic acid diuretics because if you look at the chemical structure of furosemide or any other high selling diuretics carefully, you will see they have the carboxylic group attached to the main ring structure. Thus, this name is given based upon their chemical structure. Thank you.